All right, so today we'll be playing um, the map Vulture by my friend Leo Meeves. Um, so um, yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into the description. I might be stealing that line from a certain someone. A rather challenging overgrown style map featuring a funnel and two cubes. If you look up, you'll see that a laser is also involved. To solve this one, you have to think ahead and get a little bit creative. The last move was inspired by other maps, which I can't mention because it may spoil the solution. I could also credit them, like in spoiler tag, that is a solution, if you really want to uh, give credit. Um, this is a logical puzzle. As always, no cube tossing or glitches or other shenanigans are required to complete it. Please report any seemingly unintended solution you may find. Note, the blue gel is only there to prevent an unintended solution found by Jay Courtney. It's not optimal, but it's the best fix I could think of. Sad face. Interesting. Estimated difficulty 7 out of 10 or 8 out of 10. <laughs> okay, alright. And the music was composed by Mike Astro. Hey, that's me. By the way, it's pronounced Mike Astro. You all keep doing it wrong. It, it frustrates me extremely. I'm very angry. No. I'm fine, but it's Maestro. It's, it, it's a pun on Maestro, you know? But the, the, okay, let's just, let's, just, let's just not pause too long on <laughs> the pronunciation of my name. Since I butchered Leo's name too. Um, if you don't know the name, I highly recommend you check out this Swedish workshop here for his maps from one most clever I've played. Oh, you're so kind. Leo, you're too kind. Huge thanks to Ballfrog for playtesting and advising. Okay, so I wonder which track. Oh, I'm, I, I kind of suspect he's going to be use the track I used in Vector, because he said he really liked that one. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is. Uh, I, I, I'm going to be honest. I like this track too. Um, I think it's one of my my better tracks. Okay, but let's focus on the puzzle. Instead of, um, ooh, there's that laser. It's, it's not all the way up to the ceiling. It, it's, but if it like interrupted, it spawns a cube. That's fine. So the exit is right here, and our goal. I guess the sinus wasn't really necessary. So this this. This g our goal is to do something mystery over there and to put something on this button. Well, let's take a look if we can figure out how to do that. So this is... So that button... Oh, we can actually walk here. So this button will turn off that fish there. Okay. There's a hole in the floor. And mm, there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, two levels. Oh boy. What's up there? We have a funnel. That's quite restrictive, I guess. You need to put a cube on the funnel to actually get anything out of it. Oh, but it also Sponge a cube over there. Over there. Ah. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So the map. It, it's actually quite. It, it's not as big as I thought it was. It's this is it, right? really interconnected. Um, hmm. So I guess we're gonna catch the cube from over there at some point. Oh. Okay, so now this is open at least. Might be a good idea to just focus on getting the second cube. I mean... 
That's probably pretty important. But so to interrupt this laser, I'm gonna have to send up the cube, right, with the funnel. That's quite interesting because this, like, when I turn on the funnel, this this cube is going to die. That's kind of funny. Maybe I want to get up here? I don't, don't immediately see how I would do that. How would it get up here though? Like, is there even a way to do that? Oh, maybe with the funnel out of this. But how do I make use of the funnel? If... If I... Yeah. How am I going to make use of the funnel? If it just kills the cube and if I want to use it. So I guess, like, uh, the cube... So if I, if I can get a portal in here... And get back to the funnel, that would be very helpful, because the cube would respawn, it would fly through this hole, and then through that hole, and I could, like, swap myself with the cube. So that sounds like a good plan, but the thing is, this fizzler is not going to turn off. At least I don't see any connections running to that fizzler. So, ugh. but so I, I suppose I, yeah, I suppose I, I want to get up there first then. So there is a button that is it's also going to block this laser though. Alright. And it's also the exit condition. I do think the map's very pretty, let's just say that right off the bat. Although the opening move continues to elude me. Um, at least for now. Maybe I'm just being silly. I mean... It's not really... I, I, I can't really fling anywhere. Huh. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I can most definitely fling anywhere. Oh my goodness. Okay. That wasn't so hard. Excellent work. So at least I'm up here. Let's do a save even though I accomplished nothing. And... Uh, oh, okay, so that's just to prevent some weird solution. Another part of the puzzle. That's fine. So now we can actually... We can actually bypass that bottom fissure. So my idea was to, like... 
go like this and then yeah so that sounds like a good plan all right let's do something so now this cube will come to me if I can take it I can excellent all right so careful careful all right so now this is worth a save this is probably probably right I think so uh, that portal doesn't seem all that useful to me now I guess Let's just go up. Because my next order of business is... Yeah, some of order of business is still to spawn that cube. Okay, but that's something I can do. Right? I can just spawn that cube. With my foot. So that's a good thing. Bounce, bounce. So I, I suspect this just to be connected to some flip panel. Yes. Right. Worth a little save. And now we have the second cube. Is it a bad thing that I'm like jamming out to my own song? <laughs> uh, so bad. So, but I, I can. So now that this is a thing, I can essentially go back there for free. That's the thing. So I can recall the cube. So, right. So the only thing I have to do is get that cube on this button. So there's something I immediately notice is that if if I manage to get the yellow cube onto this button I will be done right because I, I, that cube will just respawn oh yeah this is this extremely annoying bug that um, the music doesn't loop properly um, when you you have a funnel in your map I have actually experienced that, uh, experienced that a lot myself so I guess in the uh, even though the newer pre-releases of Bmod aren't as stable as you're probably using 29 um, it does actually fix this issue um, the music loops properly even if you have a funnel so It's like one of the few things actually improved on the newest pre-releases. Just thought I'd say it because I noticed that when I fooled around with it a bit. But as I was saying, if I get a the yellow cube on here, I mean this cube will respawn and I will essentially be done. So it will all amount to managing to cube swap. Um, yeah, cube swapping. Like getting a cube in here and that cube is not gonna come in through here so essentially the cube is gonna come in through here which essentially means that if I can get um, if I can swap the cubes okay, if I can literally swap the cubes right now it would it would be enough to solve it. If we could just swap the cubes, it would be enough to solve it. Because I could respawn the far cube. No, I need to... Okay, let's not think too much ahead. I think this cube is going to have to leave this area. So let's just focus on that. Um, yeah. So how would I go about... 
do that. You'd think that um, getting a yellow cube in here is actually. If I take it off the funnel. There isn't really uh, anywhere to, to like walk into, right? In that area, I think. Oh yeah, you can of you can always jump down. So I guess there is. Just getting it through. It's not as easy as it looks. Because sure, you can do this. But now I don't have the cube. And I can I can get the cube. Can I? Can I actually get to the cube? At all? That's actually quite a problem. I hadn't even thought about that. So maybe I can like do the same little funnel. Yeah, I think that's what's gonna happen. So what I can do is do this same funnel right as the cube. So at least I'll be back at the cube. And I kind of want to kill the cube. So... <laughs> How am I going to... Like getting this cube out of here, it's just a good idea. Because like, the cubes are colorized, there's going to be a lot of cube swapping involved, so... That's a good thing. Um, so, uh, taking the cube off this button means no funnel. How big of a disaster is that? Pretty big. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. How do I get the cube out? Maybe, just maybe, I am not going about this right at all. I got his brainwave. Maybe something, maybe nothing. Because this cube, I can just like take it to me. Like, there's no need for it to be like down there. Yes, this looks a lot better. I can like I, I just had this cube out of here. So that's a good thing. So I must so there's a couple of things I must realize. Like having having the funnel is enough to get in here. You don't need anything else for that. I just strongly suspect to have to use the floor to send up a cube to, to interrupt that laser. Because then he 
will respawn. But you know, if I'm here, I could also do it with my foot. So I really want to respawn it from somewhere else. Then. But it is true that at the moment I managed to catch the yellow cube here. I'm done. Right. So put yellow cube here. You can recall the red one and you're solid. So if this is gonna happen. I need to wonder what could cause that. What could cause the yellow cube to respawn? This button is the answer. But how could I trigger that button from here? It doesn't really make sense. Does the cube auto respawn? I don't know. I would think so. At least let's let's just take this one out. Let's put this one here. Let's do that. So yeah. Do you auto respawn? I would think it's it, it will have to just to prevent trapping. No, it probably doesn't have to auto respawn actually. Let's just try it. No, it doesn't auto respawn. Um, that's fine. How did I do this again? Oh yeah, I, I did the flame, right? So I went up and I left the portal and I left this portal goes up this and I can get that cube on here. And it turns out I can actually grab it and I can swap it. So getting this cube actually out of this area, how is that going to work? Because I was, I was all happy and stuff that I could get it here, but actually getting it out of that area is, is actually not that easy at all. you useful. You're so worthless. You were worthless at, this, at the entrance and you're worthless here. What am I doing wrong? Mm. 
this just looks so much like you have to send a cube up there. But it shouldn't hold on to that idea too much because it may just be wrong. Uh, but then... Enough walking around, I need to think. I need... I need to think. He said it look, the, uh, the solution required thinking ahead and creativity. Which I suppose... Which I suppose is fair. I guess this this yellow cube it can now that now that this fizzle down here is just open. I mean the yellow cube can go down here. The only problem is of course that uh, what was the problem? Oh man, this is this is this is too hard. I'm not it. Uh, I'm not this smart. What do you think I am <laughs> recommending these these hard maps? So from the point of the cube, you can kind of see in here. So so I can get a yellow cube in here, and then what? Then what? Right. I'd much rather just have the red cube there. Why am I having so much trouble actually getting it there? It's just that the red cube is not going to take this funnel ride anytime soon. Like, I, it's, it's, it's hard. To Get the red cube in here. Can the red cube near any portal at all? So if so, this didn't work. And this maybe here. Was the better idea? But if it's here, what do I do? I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> I need to get back to my yellow cube. Because just walking around here, I'm not going to achieve anything. Like I said, I suppose I can send the yellow cube up there to block the laser and recall the, the red cube. But what will it give me? Except for absolutely. Hold on. Doing, doing that will allow me to swap the cubes, but the problem is that I the, the, the cubes are stuck behind this fizzler. Like if I if I don't have like I don't have a funnel, and I can only like recall the. Mm. Uh. You know what? Let's just do it. 
I'm I'm getting tired of just ifs and maybes and what if and then this. You told me to think ahead. Well, sorry, Leo. I'm just going to do this, and if this is just one big disaster, I apologize. Are you kidding me? It missed. <sighs> yeah, but sad face. How did I miss? What's the second? Second service, right? Yeah, I guess it's a little off. Well, let's do this again. Fling, grab, should have quick saved. Why am I going here? Blue. Um, there. Down. Here, up, here, button. Okay, so the cube is coming. Yes. Okay. Let's quick save. Let's aim this very carefully. Looks good. I think. I think that's probably good enough. Safe. Cube. There you go. It worked. Who would have thought? So. What's going to happen if I leave this button, the cube is going to get back into my hand. But the whole idea was that it doesn't go back into my hand. I, the whole idea is that... I... Oh... Maybe I... Do... Want to do this? I don't know. So this whole, the whole idea behind this is that it allows me to like, at least swap the cubes. It's something. So that's good. So now, this cube is here. I suppose I could just recall, or just redo the beginning. No, I could just recall the the yellow cube. I suppose. Open up this fizzler, get the red cube in here, and put it on this button. So I, I mean, I, I that, that, that stuff I can do. That's just stuff I can do. So let's recall it cube. Um, get it. On here, all right, and this cube can go here. So at last, I got my red cube in this area. Hooray! I'm so smart. Now what? <laughs> Now what? What do I do? Maybe it's time to think about exiting? Or am I too quick? Because getting the red cube on here... 
will again kill this cube, but that's all fine. Doesn't really matter too much. I mean, I can go there. Yeah, let's just put it on the button. Okay. So I guess I can recall it and it will at least come here too. Because the observation I'm making, I actually made it a little, a short while ago. But there is like, this is a perpetual like loop thing so must it be must it be that I keep around this yellow cube going in like a loop I somehow managed to get up there, recall the red cube, and it like kills the funnel, and it this cube lands on this button, recalls itself, and I can catch it. If that is right it would be beyond genius but maybe it's impossible i don't know let's take a look so getting that cube to, um, to cycle but also getting up there is that fine how much is that too much to ask i think that's quite a lot to ask really because the thing is, to get up there, you essentially need to funnel out of there. And when you funnel out of there, like your portal is not going to be in there. This is not going to happen. Getting it into the loop is pretty hard. I mean, the best way to do it is recalling it, but you need to like, but getting the loop going, that's it's already quite hard. Because you need, you need that orange portal all the way over there. And there isn't really a, a good way to get it there. No, I don't think that's right. That's too bad. It would have been, it would have been amazing if it, if that was the solution. But I'm afraid it's just not the solution. So the, the kind of the the awkward thing at this point is that I don't need this cube for anything. But I still can't take it through this darn fizzler. I mean, 
I can go there. And then... Yeah, what then? I guess I could also bring the cube into this area and then maybe recall the cube again so I can swap them again but can I at least preserve portals that time around? I doubt it. Because if I bring this cube into this area now I will go I can bring it into here, I will just go up here the portal there and there Cool. I'd have to jump down, get it here, so I would sell my portals um, here and here, and I could take. So I could. Da. You know, you know, I'm just gonna save, and I'm gonna try. I don't even care anymore. I'm too dumb anyway. So the idea was to just leave it here. Because I can. I don't need you. To do what I want to do. I just go up. And here. What solution involved this though? Like leaving a cube here and getting it. No idea what Jake will do. So, I mean, I can recall red. It'll fall here. Just fall here. And I could swap. But this time I have my portal still. Which is the difference. I mean, I played facade. Position of your portals can be. A huge difference. So maybe I just need to do this. Because I can essentially get back into the same position as... go back into that area and place red on that button and I can like funnel myself back over there no because when I turn on the uh, the funnel this cube will die Ugh. and that is not ideal So, what did I achieve, and what did I achieve, let's be honest. Because now that this, this red cube is off this, this the, the button, the moment I put it on, the yellow cube will just respawn. The yellow cube will just respawn. I need to catch it. It, it. it just the layout tells me. It just screams at me that at some point I will catch the cube. But how? How am I going to be up there while that button is being pressed so that this cube is going to respawn? It.
Maybe the solution is even more dynamic. Maybe it involves a little bit of momentum. But... Like... Maybe... No. What was what I was thinking is that like that that blue surface, if you might uh, if you like maybe drop a cube out of it with precisely the right speed, it will land on that button and recall it. Yeah. Nah, in theory that could work. But the problem is how do you drop it? Because if that button Apparently it's not pressed, so... Because, yeah, otherwise the funnel... You're not gonna drop it out of... You're not gonna drop out of... You're not going to drop anything out of it. Right? And then, how do you give it momentum? You can drop it out of here. But that doesn't make sense. Because you wanna do it from there. This is not gonna happen. Or... No. It just doesn't. Or... Could it be... Like, I'm thinking out loud. That's kind of the whole idea of this video. Could it be that I'm like up there? You are on the funnel. And you are like being held up with the funnel. And then when I recall the cube, the funnel will turn off. So the cube will fall. And it will maybe hit that button and recall itself and it will have both cubes here. Might that be an idea? Um, so, I... How do I set it up? Could I set that up? Could I set up? It would be really weird if I could set it up. Because if there's no button, if there's no cube on this button, this fizzler is going to be closed. So. Uh, from, from there, you can't really see any portal services at all. That's the whole idea. This will get the funnel. Like that cube is just going to die. At least I can, I can funnel myself up here, but there's no point. <clears throat> this is definitely a very tough puzzle. 
Definitely. Definitely. <sighs> yeah, I'm I'm not sure at this point. There is one more place I could give a cube momentum, that's this for service. <laughs> Maybe I should just experiment a bit. Because in, th in theory, oh, if you could, <laughs> if you could I was thinking, what I was thinking now, was maybe like you drop the cube in here, it will fly out and respawn. Um, and then it will drop there, but since you're up there, if you could magically also have to funnel, you could funnel and yourself cross and get the cube. But when... But I, I mean, it's just not gonna happen. It's not gonna stay still on this button. I think, like, there's... That's just not gonna happen. I think. So... So my whole issue is essentially um, you can't really do a whole lot from in there. You just can't. You can see like no portal services except for when this cube uh, I mean if this button is activated then you can actually do something I still strongly suspect that at some point I'm going to have to funnel in there like that but it just looks like a very good idea but a cube needs to be on there but wait 
I can no. Yeah, but th that's the problem. <laughs> I f f for a moment I thought yeah, I can, but I can't. I, if I put this cube on this button, then that is going to close again. That stupid cube. Like doing it the other way around doesn't make sense because I could do this from the beginning. And I, in, in the beginning, I I I had my yellow cube here, and the red cube did spawn, and I did have my portal, so I could just funnel over there. But it doesn't make sense. Like so, you do want this, so you want to get the but the getting the yellow cube onto that button, like while. Having this here just seems like an equivalent task of getting it up there because that's like the only way it can come in through. I still think the momentum thing may be the solution, but I am not really sure yet how to, to like effectively use the, that. Because, you know, you can only use it if the funnel is off, but it's Unfortunate, and you can't hit this surface from up there. So that would have provided me with a solution, I think. No, probably not even. No, probably. Backtrack, I guess. Didn't do it right. What the hell? I'm losing my touch. issues is if you're here you can do absolutely absolutely nothing this is absolutely nothing you can do unless there's a cube on this button Without a funnel, I'm not getting here. This is not gonna happen. <sighs> so 
So, if I need to have the funnel here. Stumped. I am absolutely stumped. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is this? Is this is this sleep? No. Oh. If I can just destroy you, but you don't auto respawn, <laughs> which is very sad. It kind of messes up everything. Maybe I'm just missing something. Like you just can't do anything from here. But in the end... In the end, one cube has got to be on here. Yeah, let's let's just focus on the end. Let's work backwards. One cube is going to go here. So what happens? Right. So what could you do with a cube on here? Like you could. Get. So if it's the yellow one, the red one goes there, no problem, puzzle solved. If it's the red one, it's not that easy, because like the lo location of the yellow cube is very important. I mean, if, if like the last time you bring in a cube in this area, if it's the... But this cube doesn't really do anything. Uh, this, this, this button. It really only respawns this cube. No, not even that. I'm out of ideas. I am out of ideas.
I don't know what to say. I just don't see the right way to like get in here. Where do I want my cube to be? Because like this, this, and I, I don't need it to be anywhere. I, but I can't do anything. I can't do anything from in here. There's nothing I can do. If the funnel is not on, I'm not getting in here. I, I, I feel like a broken record at this point, but it, it's true. What is the loophole from this, like... It just doesn't seem possible. It's really not, not that many elements. Something that I keep saying over and over again. This is not true. But I don't know what it is. Because if I knew it, I wouldn't be saying it. So, because the things that I keep being on my mind is I need a funnel to get there. I mean, technically, like, technically, I don't need to be there to put a cube onto the button. Technically, I only need the funnel and this cube to be like respawned. But then again, yeah. this fizzler is opened up from the inside. So if my other cube isn't already on here. I'm not gonna make it to the exit anytime soon. So I still think I need to go there physically. And the only way to do it is either like with this or with this. But but like I said, getting the yellow cube there and doing this funnel thing, it's just impossible. I mean, I I did some stuff, I got it on here, but the price I had to pay was that the, the red cube had to open it first. The red cube had to open it first, and then I lose the funnel, which means I, I also lose this bastard. If I very call him, it's not going to magically press the button, right? No, it just dies and that's it. <laughs> oh, 
I know the solution! Yes, I know the solution! Oh my goodness, I'm a f <sighs> <sighs> Oh my god, I sound like a maniac. Oh, my own song. Oh, it's... Okay. I know the solution. Oh my goodness, that took me a long time to see. Oh my god. Why did that take me so long? This, yeah, I mean, sure. This map is favorite, no doubt. Why did it take me so long to see this? The solution is pretty short. I mean, oh yeah. yeah. Okay, there you go. I get. I am. You're just all laughing your asses off <laughs> watching this pathetic display. I mean, it's not that hard. Why did it take me so long to figure it out? <sighs> Leo, I'm sorry. You had to sit through all this silliness. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yes, excellent, so simple, so elusive, I'm not going to take any chances, yeah, okay, I admit I was, I was beaten, but it was not defeated, um, excellent. Excellent puzzle. Given I now see the simplicity of the solution, I think this is a fair rating. I was just being blind. Excellent puzzle. Definite favorite. Ah. Ah, I need to rest for a bit. I mean, this, this is surely intended. There's no way this is not intended. Yeah, it's, it, it, it must be intended. Excellent puzzle. Edit favorites. Um, so yeah, that was it for this episode. This excruciatingly long episode. Leo, why are your maps so hard for me to figure out? Last time, slippery. It, <laughs> it took me almost an hour. I think this one took me more than an hour. But then it all clicked in the end. So yeah, thanks a lot for this creation. It's a very clever map. Th I think this is my favorite map of <laughs> map of yours so far. <laughs> yeah, so excellent work. Um, yeah, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.